I said it's that toxic poetry And I'm trying to read your mind I'm trying to get inside I want to see what you going to do for me Yo, y'all, we did it we reached 500 subscribers first of all what's up y'all it's your girl dd and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please go ahead press the subscribe button and join the family y'all we made it to 500 subscribers i am so excited um for one thank you um thank everybody that subscribed to my channel that's been watching my videos that's been sharing commenting everything like it could not be done without you guys so Thank you so much. Um, right now, I'm about to go to Starbucks. Um, I did say I was gonna start like doing like little vlogs or whatever. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now, get me like a little drink or whatever, and then I'm gonna go and finish editing a video that I did um, recently film. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna film it with you guys. I think that'd be kind of cool if I just set the camera up and then film it with you instead of doing like a regular tutorial on the computer how I usually do. So I might just do it that way. So come along with me to Starbucks. Again, thank you guys. I love every single one of you and let's continue to grow this channel. I am so excited. You guys just don't know. It is early in the morning right now. You see I haven't still taken my hair down but I am taking my hair down today because it looks a mess. Um, And yeah, so let's go. Comment down below, like, what is some of y'all favorite um, Starbucks drinks? I feel like every time I go to Starbucks, I get the same two or three drinks all the time. So, let me know in the comments what you guys like from Starbucks. And I might try something new or something different the next time I go. I think that'd be nice. But, um... But yeah, man, so I'm about to go to Starbucks, get me something to drink. I might get me a grilled cheese as well. I haven't eaten breakfast, and it is 11.36 right now, you guys. So I am a little hungry. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the house and do um, some, some more filming and some editing. And then let me know what y'all want to see. Do y'all want, like, anything particular, or do you just want, like, a regular dead on my videos and everything that you know i be doing and it's chilly outside so yeah i'm going to starbucks so i'm gonna clock back in with y'all once i get to starbucks and then i'm gonna let y'all hear my order all right y'all we just pulled up to starbucks um i'm thinking about trying something new i always come here and get my drink and then i get a grilled cheese but have you guys ever had like one of their breakfast sandwiches I wonder if they're good. Ooh, a ham and Swiss sandwich. That sounds good. A hazelnut oat milk shaken espresso. That sounds good too. I don't know what I want. I'm gonna just order the, the same old, same old, and then next time I'm gonna order something different. So y'all comment what y'all like from Starbucks so I can try it out. Welcome to Starbucks. This is Jen. What can I get for you? Hi, good morning. How are you? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, can I order a grande iced white mocha? Yeah, iced grande white mocha. Yes. Can you add um, sweet cream foam on top? Yeah. And caramel. Actually, can you add whipped cream instead of the sweet cream foam? I'm sorry. You said you wanted the cold foam or whipped cream? The whipped cream instead of the cold foam. Oh, sure. And then can you add um, caramel drizzle? Yeah. Just and on top or do you want like the, in the cup? Um, both. Okay, no problem. <laughs> um, okay, anything else? And then do you have grilled cheese? Yes, we do. Can I have one grilled cheese, please? Yep. And that will be all. All right, your name for the order? Lisa. All right, Lisa, we'll see you around the corner. Okay, thank, thank you. you. and my grilled cheese i used to get that all the time i used to get sweet cream foam but one time they had um accidentally put whipped cream instead of the sweet cream foam and it was actually pretty good so i think i'm gonna get the whipped cream again hopefully i like it well i liked it the last time so hopefully it tastes the same 
And then too, y'all, I ain't gotta spend no money because I have a Starbucks gift card. I got a Starbucks gift card um, for Christmas and I've just been holding it in my wallet. So I'm about to use that Starbucks gift card instead of spending some money. I'm all about saving money now. Oh, let me get it out while I'm chit-chatting. Let me see. Hello, hi. It is 1423. Go. Yes. Oh, I got the Starbucks card. Yes. Thank you. Let me see your girl. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, drink y'all. No, thank you. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Okay, Starbucks for breakfast. Now. So yeah. Go ahead and head back to the crib. I'm gonna show y'all my Starbucks when I get back to the house. So yeah, check in with y'all when I get back there. Okay, y'all, I made it back to the house. Um, as you can see, something just blew my mood, but it's okay. I'm not gonna dwell on it. Don't mind my towels and stuff over there. But so here's my grilled cheese that I got from Starbucks. And then also, here is the drink that I got. And now, I'm going to do some editing. I think I am just going to go ahead and do it on the computer because my ring light is outside and I really don't feel like going outside to the car to go get it. So, um, I am going to do the tutorial on the computer how I always do. So, stay tuned for that. Well, I'm going to do it after this clip. So, here we go. Okay, y'all, so you already know, to start it off, we're going to do Canva. But before we do all that, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Now let's get right into this video. So go ahead and click on Canva, um, and then click on Create a Design. Now when you create your design, go down to Custom Designs. Make sure you turn it on inches, and then you're going to type in 11 for the width and 8.5 for the height. Okay, so now once you have that design um, pulled up, well template shall I say, go ahead and click on elements, type in shapes or just click on the square. Now for the square you're going to type um, 10 for the width and 3.1 for the height. Now, also, this is the template for the small Pringles can, and I will be doing the bigger um, Pringles can on the second page. But you'll see once I um, get to that point. Okay, so once you have your square pulled up, you're going to go ahead and change the color. Um, I waited to change the color because I wanted the exact blue of the characters that I'm going to design. So um, what I did was go ahead and went to Uploads. And then I uploaded the um, photos that I have got off of Google. Go ahead and remove the background once you pull up all your photos. And now you can change the color of your square. So I did go ahead and choose the um, baby blue color. Then I went to elements and I typed in cloud. Go ahead and pick some clouds that you want. And I'm going to line them up here. For that, I went to text. Go ahead and pick a font that you like. And 
And then here I'm just typing in happy second birthday, Zach. Zach is a random name that I just chose. Now go ahead and change the color of your font if you want to change the color. I did, I put it to white and then I'm going to add like a blue effect behind it. Now go ahead and just line it up so it can um, fit per perfectly Excuse me, um, into the square. Okay, here I clicked on elements and I'm going to type in grass. And I just found a grass that I fit, felt like best fit the, um, the theme. I didn't want nothing too high or nothing too low. I mean, I'm just going to put this all the way across. Now here I'm just going to size this down and then add this picture onto the grass. You see it's coming up behind the grass so what you want to do is um, go ahead and click on position and then send forward and then there, um, the picture will pop in front of the grass to make it look like they're actually standing on it instead of behind it. And then go ahead and do the same thing with their other photos. Again, send this forward. And then just size it down to your liking. And then do the same with this one as well. Now once you get everything fitted to how you want it, um, then go ahead and click on elements and then type in blue balloons. And then just find some balloons that you like. And then go ahead and set the balloons on top of their hand to make it look like they're actually holding the balloons. And then here I'm just trying to figure out if I want it on the left side or the right.
Okay, and now I'm just looking at the photo to see if I need to make any more changes or if I need to add anything. And then I did go ahead and add the bluey name. I did find this picture off of Google and just remove the background. Size it down so you won't have like a lot of empty space. And then just place it wherever you want to place it. Okay, and then there you have it. Now, to make the top um, of the Prinkle can, what you want to do is go ahead and click on, well, type in shapes, and then click on the circle. Now, the measurement for the circle will be um, 3 inches in width and 3 inches in height. Again, I used the same blue. And then I used the cloud at the top. Just going to make it a little bit bigger so it can fit in the circle perfectly. And then I did go ahead and find a blue, bluey, um, words to fit inside of the clouds and now I'm just going to copy the characters from the top and then move them to the bottom And this would be the top of your Pringle can. Okay, so once you are done, you are going to um, go ahead and group them. I did just put the measurements of which Pringle can it is just so you guys can um, have it if you want to do both because if you buy them in the box then it will be the 1.3 ounce but if you go to the grocery store and buy them separately more than likely you're going to get the um, 2.5 ounce Pringle can and there you go there is your design so I'm going to add a second page here to do the bigger one and then I'm just going to um, ungroup it and then duplicate it and then group it back just add that to the second page and now group that back so everything can stay in place now for the bigger design um, the dimensions are 10 inches wide and 4.4 inches tall, well, in height. Here I'm just trying to make sure it's centered so I can have enough room to fit it on the page. But there I am moving it um, up to the correct dimensions. And then I'm just going to pull everything to the top. And maybe make it a little bit bigger just so it can be um, full like the first one. Because here you see everything is small. So just go ahead and make it a little bigger just so you can fill in those blank spaces. And far as the top go, it um the dimensions does stay stay the same. Sorry, it does stay the same, so you don't have to make another top. So 
So here I am just moving everything around to see um, how big or small I want them to be. And now group everything together so it won't move. And again, this is for the 2.5 ounce. I'm going to put it at the bottom just so you can have both. And there you go, you have both sides of a custom Pringle can. Now to save this, all you wanna do is go ahead and click on share, click on download as PNG, and then let it download. And then once it pops up, you can save it under whatever name you wanna save it as. I'm not gonna save it because I already have it. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. And let me know if there's any custom um, designs if you guys want me to do. Thank you guys. Love you. See you in the next video.